special guest in the building. Yeah. Straight out of Trinidad. Stop. Yeah, man. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you come to vibe with us today. You come to vibe with us today on the I'm podcast. Thank Please. you for having me. <laughs> before, before, before you speak, let, let us introduce you properly. Yes, Danny Loveless. Boy, you see, going viral on the internet. Causing all, all kind of back and all. Are you embarrassed? <laughs> <laughs> Daniel Loveless, rate my Trinidadian. Rate it. You do good, you do good. No, I'm don't cool. lie. Thank you. Don't you. lie. Yeah, yeah. Why you lie? No, There's lie. no need to lie. Need to lie. There is no need to lie. Thank you for your you honesty. Don't need to lie. Hey. A little bit again, and I can pass for a Trinidadian. <laughs> A little bit again. Thank you, sir. <laughs> she hates on my chili dad and oh, accent all trash. the time. She Wait, can I hear it. your Jamaican? My Jamaican accent? Yeah. Wagwan Yadi, we are dealing with forward or forward. Yeah, that's how them sound. That's how we sound, dude. Yard band thing. Chop of the chop. Yeah, you know, one thing with Jamaican. The man does a chop of chop. Now I'm gonna lie. Catch you at a lie. <laughs> one thing my wow. I like the the it's almost like you guys have a sing song flow within an accent. Oh yeah, just yeah, we do <laughs> yes. we get that. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. but Funo on just nice, you know, it's like when I sing, you know, like so a almost little, melodic. Yeah, it's like I wish I I wish we had that one. Yeah. yeah the, that accent. I'll teach you a lesson then before I go. Some some slangs. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Slangs, yeah. Yeah, we yeah. never really learned. Trinity songs like that. Only Bacchanal. Yeah, like some Which terms. I thought it was a party. <laughs> 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 I heard that in the, in the interview. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like, nah, no, nah, because, nah. Them, because Jamaica have a party named Bacchanal, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. So I thought that it was like some soca adjacent thing. So when we It's got, very interchangeable. They can yeah. use it to describe different things. Yeah. A party, uh, like a, a commerce between people. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. you know, it's a love triangle. They can see that a big Yeah, Bacchanal mix up, yeah. yeah. Wow. That's what I, 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 I got that, that it has. I can be used in various. No, things. well, I got that when I yeah. when I went overseas, but before going, I thought it was just like a name of a party. I didn't yeah. know. <laughs> I didn't know it had any other meaning other than that. Oh. Uncultured okay. swine, yeah. <laughs> Cultured swine is. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I didn't know any Trinidadians. I know them now. <laughs> no, you know. If you no, 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 you know. Ah, there we go. Podcast ah, cycle. Ah. No segue. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> hey, you're a master plugger, you know. You find me. I'll watch you show and yeah. like, I know when we know where you live, I'm gonna know Barbados like sponsor you. Yeah. <laughs> the whole country. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, house, yeah. And have some beautiful Harrison Cave. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we got Barbados one time, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, okay, that's a definite hashtag sponsored post. Right there. <laughs> so wait, how you do it so smooth? Like, like how you find ways for you, like... I mean, sometimes it just happens in the moment and mm-hmm. I try to include questions that are related to what I want to speak about to mm-hmm. lead into it. So for instance, with the Barbados question, I typically ask people to spell the word Barbados. Mm-hmm. Um. They spell it incorrectly. You know, we might take a little laugh and I might ask like, how much do you know about Barbados? Mm-hmm. You know, I might love to visit Barbados and then I kind of include what can happen in Barbados. Mm-hmm. I try to not make it feel too sponsored, but mm-hmm. at the same time, educate on. I like, I and like then like the, how the country, like I'm, I'm assuming it's like the Ministry of Tourism reach out to you. Yeah, so like yeah, yeah. how versus them versus Trinidad, like how has that Trinidad any uh, advertise for Barbados? How that work? <laughs> yeah, well, you know, um, the Barbados Tourism Board reached out um, about, a year ago or so. And I mean, they like the content. They, they, they like what I do. And I think it aligns perfectly with, with, with my goal of, you know, taking the Caribbean offerings to the world, mm-hmm. not just mm-hmm. Trinidad. So that's why I was like, hey, let's do it. And we built a relationship through through that. And social media, I guess the power of yeah. power social media. Mm-hmm. Okay. I would have never thought starting a show seven years ago would have led to all these different, you know, mm-hmm. things happening for the show. So talk sure. to me more about how you started seven years ago. How did you get into doing what you do? Well, I started, um, I started this entire entertainment thing by doing little skits on social media. Mm-hmm. Since I was like going to secondary school, I would do these little skits. By the way, um, what's the name of the school? The name of the show? What no, you know? School, oh, school. my school. Mm-hmm. So I attended, um, now in Trinidad, when I did CXE, when I did SEA actually, I passed for a Tuna Puna Secondary in Trinidad, 
Tuna Puna Secondary. Tuna, tuna Puna? puna. Yeah. Why that sound like a made up name? <laughs> <laughs> like what Candy said. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. And people I went there, power. I went there for one year. Mm-hmm. Because of the fact that I had a maths teacher, he gave me some lines in mm. Trinidad. If you like behave bad in class or something, so the, the teachers will give you something called lines. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know what you all call it in Jamaica? Yeah, yeah, lines, yeah, yeah, lines. I will behave. I will be. I give me like, like three hundred lines yeah. or something like that. And I, my mother didn't like the way that he gave me. He gave me the lines because of the fact that I was just vibrant and talking in class, class clown, etc. So she decided to take me out of Tunapuna Secondary and send me to a private school. Oh, okay. So that's why I transitioned to a school called the Sangre Grande Educational Institute. Sangre Grande Educational Institute. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. So I went to school there for, for, for five years and then in about form five, I started to do these little skits on social media. Always trying to hop on a trend and, you know, make people laugh because I always wanted to be popular. So mm-hmm. I was what... I was what um, was known in Trinidad at the time as a Facebook wetty. Wetty. Right? Wetty. This is what we call a. Is that, is that related to wet man? Um, what we call a wet man? I think no, no. Not, wait, wait, not I'm necessarily. Not. What, what's a wet man? Ari, we've okay. been over this. <laughs> Jervis. A I forgot. How much, time, how much time have you explained this to her? What's a wetty? Well, a wet man is Ari, somebody who has like plenty of girls. Yes, Ari. Man, yeah. oh. yes, Ari. Gallis, Jamaica. Kez, yes, yes, yes. Explain yes. this I to forgot. you. This was explained to you while in Trinidad. Yes, <laughs> all these things. And she forgot. I forgot. That's why him can't say Y E S spells yes and E Y E S spells oh. yes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Right. So, uh, yeah, yeah, wet man. Mm-hmm. A Facebook wet is, is yeah. in that time was just known as somebody who would just do these videos and and it'll get a lot of likes and a lot of traction. Oh, okay. Something kind of similar to Candy Wow, mm. very oh, yeah, similar yeah, to that. Yeah, Twenty yeah. likes, something trending, etc. Mm-hmm. And then I just continued making these videos under the name Daniel Loveless. Um, but when I started university, I was attending a church in my hometown, and the leader, one of the leaders of the church, the youth leaders, he told me I had a great personality. Because mm-hmm. in every team project or any youth thing they had in the church, I would always try to be the best of it, you know, in any little plays or something. Mm-hmm. So I always trying to top, you know, what was happening. And he told me I would do well with my own show. So I was like, you know, that's a, that's a good idea. So he said we should go out on the streets of Port of Spain, which is the capital of Trinidad and Tobago, and ask some people some questions. I was like, all right, cool. I said, let me do it. He had a camera. I had the talent. I was like, here's what. We'll call it What You Know. And we went out in Trinidad uh, Saturday morning. It was Carnival Saturday. Mm-hmm. And I just came up with a list of questions like, what was the national bird? What is, like, what is the motto? Spell Trinidad. Mm-hmm. And he just literally put the camera on the tripod and he handed me a mic and he was like, okay, well, we got to do an intro. So here I am confused because I've never, I never did a show in my life. Mm-hmm. So I just took the mic and I was like, well, Trinidad and Tobago, it's your boy, Daniel. And we out here in Port of Spain. And we did the intro. And then we went out on the streets and from there, I already had a vibrant personality, talking with people, asking people to participate, etc. Yeah. And And that was the start of what, you know, mm. as a social experiment. And mm. we edited it and put it out and it, it went viral. And I've been doing what, you know, from So you started, was it, did you put it on YouTube or Facebook since you were popular on Facebook? 2016. Well, when, well, well, when I say popular, I probably had about 5,000 friends, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but I was a lot yeah. in my little community. Yeah. So I put it out on my personal Facebook profile mm-hmm. and the show was actually called What You Know, mm-hmm. but I, I changed it to What You Know, mm-hmm. just for the local, the Caribbean yeah. slang. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and then when I realized the video went viral and a lot of people were looking at the video, I decided to create a Facebook page for it. Okay, okay, okay. And that was like the inception seven years ago in 2016. So then when you moved to, mm-hmm. are you also complemented with YouTube? Yeah, um, I think probably probably a year into okay. into um mm-hmm. into doing the show, mm-hmm. I decided to now create a YouTube channel and yeah. put the videos there as well. Mm-hmm. Then I kind of caught on the Instagram and mm-hmm. I, I joined there as well. Yeah, because I mean, I would I was introduced to your content through Instagram. Yeah, so I thought it was like an Instagram thing, like you do it, but then I realized, oh, it's like a whole like, yeah, you know, you yeah. utilize it, which is like duh. Because course. somebody <laughs> gave me that recommendation, I was like, hey, you should join should join Instagram and post short videos there. Mm-hmm. It was like, all right, good idea, and I mm-hmm. I joined at believe in twenty. 17 mm-hmm. Instagram posting content there as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, from there, I mean, you ask these simple questions. Like, was it always the intention to ask these very simple questions or like you trip up somebody, ask them something else and you trip them up or it was just always these simple questions? Well, I always try to keep it simple, but I always try to keep it factual as well mm-hmm. in terms of, um, 
I try to stay away from the riddles, but I still throw them in sometimes. Mm -hmm. But I try to make them like, there's like general knowledge, factual things that people yeah. can actually learn because kind of like extracting what people know out of their mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, so always just try to keep it simple. Yeah. Cause what? sometimes I say it well. feel odd. <laughs> like, it's not, it's you. not hard questions you ask. For you. But, but they think too hard. Yes, yeah, like I can say, wait, is this a trick? Like, say, say, say for you, or for you. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> no, 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 Shut no. up. <laughs> yeah, probably the camera will scare them sometimes. That yeah. too, that too. I, I, I'll give them that. I'll give but them what some are reason. some of the challenges that you face since you started doing the, the, um, the show? Well, I mean, from the beginning, from the onset of the show, when we, when we started the show, um, you know, a lot of people would, uh, in the early days, find that, you know, we're making fun of people. Mm. And, you know, we had the, the highly intellectual people mm -hmm. not liking the show at all. Mm -hmm. We even had a, a had an issue where, you know, a, a literacy organization in Trinidad um, lashed out against us. So that was a big challenge that we had, wow. to, we had to overcome. Because Wait, no, explain that story. <laughs> How? <laughs> well, out. right. So, so Alta is the name of the organization, right? And they, they approached... Oh, like our Jamal. Yes, okay. basically. Mm -hmm. So they approached us to, to partner, to do something. Because, they, they, I mean, we were going viral. So everybody wanted to be a part of, of what you know. And when they, when they came to us, the proposal was like, okay, you know, we'd like to give prizes and give classes to a show. It's like, okay, great idea. Let's mm -hmm. do it. But what they, what they didn't want was for me to not include the memes that we include in the show. The, like the bits, like after a person answers a question, there would be something with Kevin Hart saying, oh no, oh, she oh, wasn't ready. Right. right. So, they would, so they didn't want us to include that. And um, they wanted to make a few changes to the show. So 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 that's when I, that did, I did notice that like with the earlier content there were those bits and pieces, but like with yeah. the recent one, the the adore really yeah. Correct. Yeah. So we excluded now, but back then, I mean being young and, and naive, I was like, yeah. you know, they're coming to take over my show. Yeah. yeah. So I felt as if they wanted to like change too many things and I declined to want a partner. But up to mm. a year ago you had um something you were in Atlanta. Yeah. Saw that and you had like um yeah, you put in a thing. The, right, Cena. right. Yeah. But at that time, we didn't. Okay. So I think when I when I declined to partner, they went on being being more connected than me back then. Mm -hmm. They they had all these media um, connections and stuff, and they proceeded to like do these news releases and Facebook posts, kind of like painting me out to be a really bad guy. So it was an wow. organized campaigning effort against to, me. To this, yeah, yeah. yeah. It is to that day. Get you down. Yeah, wow. and that was the time when you know I was now about to like start seeking sponsorships, etc. So it made it difficult because um, wow. I was just home on Sunday and I turned on the TV and I saw like a the news reporter saying, you know, popular series, you know, what you know is now, you know, like versus Alta. It was now this, <laughs> this riot. Wow. <laughs> no way. Them obvious are rabble rouser. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So, you know, that was, that was a bit, that was a, a bit difficult to navigate, <laughs> but I, I looked at the positive in it, you know, out of it, I, I now started to put fun facts in the show. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I started to try to reduce the amount of memes I use, but I, oh. I still use memes in the show. And, um, what I did as I come back, I took the, the same news bit that mm. when it was speaking about me yeah. and I put it at the start of an episode. I yeah. know. To show yeah. like, yeah. you know, yeah. like, I know what? I'm back. I feel like that works for <laughs> the better because with almost everything that has to do with something like what you do, you always find those things in there and without it, it's still just as entertaining to me. Like, yeah. you don't really need like, the clips speak for themselves. Yeah. yeah. They're funny by yeah, themselves. So yeah. I don't think that you really need to have those enhancers, if you will. Yeah. Because like everybody is doing them type of thing. So. Yeah, absolutely yeah. right. And I think mm -hmm. it kind of sometimes diminishes the value of the True. show itself, which is yeah. why for the Jamaican episodes, we, we didn't include any. Yeah. 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 Everything was just so funny. And I, I think that's the question too mm -hmm. that I wanted to ask. Yeah, like would you put that down to them just being Jamaicans or like we just being more <laughs> no, 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 no. than <laughs> <laughs> No, he wants I mean, to I was a bit more, a bit more exuberant. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's a PC with, word. You can't just say There's a PC words. word. You can't just say with dons. Duh. Fully. Fully dons. Jamaicans are dons. I mean, I think Caribbean <laughs> people on you who are just so. <laughs> We're joking. <laughs> right. You know, Caribbean people are loud and yeah. you know extra. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. My question though is like how you find the line or is, I mean I don't know from from me started to know like how you find the line with not 
being like you're trying to make fun of them but still like you know like saying hey it's just a joke like how you find the the, the sweet balance of allowing people to be them full self mm-hmm. you know however that they look without it being like malicious or i know, mean innocent. i think i think for me sometimes knowing when to stop mm-hmm. so like if a person really doesn't know you know mm-hmm. i might i might stop um asking that specific question and tell them you yeah, know it's okay you don't know but the answer is this so mm-hmm. we're gonna move on to our next question mm-hmm. sometimes right. reading body language as well because sometimes mm-hmm. i would interview a person and they would try they would you know put their effort into it yeah. but other times i may ask a question they may I, I may see them pulling away a bit so i could tell that okay they're uncomfortable yeah and then they may come with a question like all right tell me something special about jamaica why people need to and then we'll come back in and you know they're yeah, excited yeah, yeah. again so i guess it's just about trying to read their body language mm-hmm. and um just kind of monitoring comments how people reacted mm-hmm. showing different people before it's released family friends mm-hmm. etc to see how they feel about it mm-hmm. before i actually put it out but i mean just doing it for seven years and kind of developing a large audience i think that i kind of have an idea of what they what they like what they don't like mm-hmm. i know my facebook audience they're a bit more touchy yeah. so i won't post certain jokes there okay. instagram mm-hmm. a bit more open so it's like if somebody talks something about sex or something i might put it on instagram but not Facebook. So mm. it's just about understanding the audience. Yeah, because old people that on Facebook. Yeah, yeah. They, <laughs> Elderly they will type people. a paragraph. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, you, you talk about... Daniel, I, talk, I spoke to your mother yesterday. <laughs> I am so disappointed God with don't like this. this. Yeah. Love you. Call me. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And the think pieces. Just you mentioned like the body language, even yours as well, I think is key. Yeah. Because if you did have a certain body language, I think it would have come off as Ari mentioned, somewhat malicious. Mm, yeah. Like if it's like, ah, oh, like you ask yeah. a question or so, right. yeah, you repeat it yeah. more than once. And, and I think what helps- When you do repeat it, yes. Yeah. It's more to say, hey, this is what I think what a, I think what works with you is just like, you look at the camera, say so you break the, four, to, mm, the fourth wall and yes. like, yeah. you, you're catching this? Like, I'm straight <laughs> face. <yeah. laughs> it's like, yeah, we catch it, Daniel. We catch and it. I think <laughs> even, even before, even before interviewing any people, you know, you go through a process and you're talking to them yeah. and I'm making them feel like, and I think that that, the fact of me making people feel like we're good, we yes. good. Like I would be in the streets of, of Kingston, like Wagwan dog, we are deal with you good, etc. <laughs> mm-hmm. They feel like we're family, so they yeah. feel like I'm one of them, or mm-hmm. we, you know, we go back a long way. Yeah. So they feel okay to you know be interviewed, and, and that's it too. Because I'm like even the process, like what's the process like to have them come on camera? Because mm-hmm. I'm like I'm sure you're like, hey, my name is Daniel Loveless. Yeah. This is show what you know. I'm just gonna ask you simple questions. I mean, I'm fearful of doing that first of all because yeah. I hate rejection. Yeah. So I'm yeah. like, how do you even like talk mm-hmm. to them to make them feel comfortable to want to be a part of it? And even when them like, oh shit, forty feet container, oh how, how long is that? And I'm posing them brain, like, how yeah. do you get them engaged? Still want well, to I be think a that, part? I think that um, you know, for every country is different. So I would usually practice my lines in different countries. Okay. So different countries have a different tone. So when I'm in the states, I'll say, "Hi, my name is Daniel Loveless. I'm a YouTuber, etc. Can I do some interviews with you?" They would say yes. In Jamaica, I always say, "Wagwan yadi, we I deal with." For some reason, they automatically know I'm not Jamaican. Yes. yes. <laughs> but that's, that's the first thing I was going to say. Like that, you tend to come from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's not from around. I'm accent guy. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But the yeah. fact that I tr- that I'm trying yes. to speak yes. like that, yeah, yeah, yeah. they like it so much so yeah. you know i approach them like that and you know say like i i want to do an interview with you i use the lines youtube viral famous that works all the time we don't need words yeah, yeah we don't, like, like, like hashtags yeah <laughs> wagwan my youth youtube tags, viral yeah, famous yeah. try having that man yeah let's use the tags you man operate like a youtube search <laughs> word <laughs> you might use algorithm right that's okay. right and it works perfectly you yeah. know they say yes and even they say no I just, I just shake their hand <laughs> and say you know it's yeah. alright but what I realized like Jamaicans they hold their hand really tight for really long mm-hmm. like, I would hold someone's hand like yeah nice to meet you and they just keep shaking over <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know if that's a Jamaican thing, it. but yeah. yeah. I try to see if we're connected. Yeah, yeah, connected. yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I, I also want, include I the words. Seal it up, yeah, and I also include the words um, Bob Marley, Buju Banton. I just yeah. say everything. And, and YouTube, you viral, you famous, Buju, Banton. This you is had ba- me in the first half. This is borderline. Right? This is borderline racist. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> it's not you USA, man. Like, <laughs> Well, but it usually there. works yeah. and they're usually yeah like, no it yeah, works yeah. it works so then yeah. I mean do you go straight into the questions or as you say like you have a conversation with them right. first kind of case so we'd have the conversation first mm-hmm. make sure they're okay and then once they agree then we begin recording and then I'll be like 
Hey, Jamaica, it's your boy Daniel. I'm out here with Randy. I want to mm. ask Randy a simple question that mm. I ask around the world. And then I start asking mm. the questions okay. from him. Yeah, ever had a case where someone reacted nev- negatively or like it somehow became physical? Right. In the street. In a few cases that it happened, mm-hmm. they just kind of like, nah, I don't want to do it anymore. Yeah. But it really happens. Mm-hmm. Because of the fact of the body language and yeah. Right, yeah. because like if I realize that a person like absolutely don't know, I would reroute it in a way of of like asking something else. Mm-hmm. If I realize that they they have no vibes because there's some people around the world who just like they're very monotone. They're not really giving yeah. me anything. Yeah. I would just be like. All right, tell me something positive about Jamaica. All right, if you don't know now, you know. Just mm. like cut the interview. Yeah, right. So it's just about knowing when to stop. So it but, doesn't ever really end. But she said, fine. So what? It's not in about like, I'm not until this bomb club. Move on, where you're trying to embarrass me. No, 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 okay. no. It never, oh. it, it never happened with somebody. I'm not just interviewing. Jamaica, like in general, like. No, 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 oh. no, no. But I mean, once or twice, we would have people from the outside say, nah, I'm mean, not, don't answer no questions, you know, from him or whatever, oh, etc. Yeah. Because of people who are there, them willingly. Yeah, they are. They don't want to be a part of this. So yeah, correct, I don't yeah. think at that point they would say, yo, nah, stop doing them thing. Yeah, yeah, don't yeah, yeah. Think correct. Because they already agreed. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. I mean, do you, how you scout though, like, you kind of can tell like this person make a good one. Like right. you have an idea. Like, oh. And even the locations that you decide. Oh, you right. know if we go downtown Kingston. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> knows to go downtown oh, yeah, Kingston. Oh, yeah, so okay. I choose those locations. Uh, there's a two part answer. I mean, in terms of the location, I try to go to the the rawest place of, of each location that, that yeah. you know. So I don't want to show, like I want to show the man on the street, you know, the, mm. the average person, the kind of raw Jamaican vibe or the raw Grenadian vibe. So I would ask, I would get recommendations from people on social media. Mm. They would say, hey, come to Maypen, come to, they asked me to come to Maypen. So I went to Maypen, um, Old Harbor, I went there, downtown Kingston, I went there as well. Um, But in terms of the people who answer questions, we would sometimes question random people, like say, hey, come and try a thing. And then sometimes my girlfriend, fiance would, would, would say, um, like I call her the character scoper. Yeah. <laughs> the character uh, scoper. Mm-hmm. So she would like say, hi right, baby, I feel like she go and interview him. Mm-hmm. And I would go and ask, et cetera. <laughs> you have to have a character scoper with yeah, you. Yeah, 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 yeah. tell too. Like they're always a scoper. Like, yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so sometimes she would go talk to them first before I go. Yeah. Or you know, my time I just watch somebody and feel like, okay, they might bring good vibes or mm-hmm. they might be able to sing a song, you know. So, your girl would approach the people that are you with first. Sometimes. Sometimes okay. she might, if I'm busy like talking to someone else, mm-hmm. she would go and talk to somebody. Mm-hmm. Or sometimes even random people on the street actually do it for me. Uh, so like we went to Maypen. <laughs> <laughs> we went to Maypen and there was this guy who just, hey, I like your show. And he was ruling with us. So uh, now he was convincing so people to come answer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this trip was the, the most... um impactful Jamaican trip that I Jamaican trip that I've had so far definitely you've, you've gone viral at least twice over so yeah, really, yeah 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 I, I was about to that. ask you in what way like what you mean impactful? um because the first two times I came I mean the small niche of people who follow me from Jamaica mm-hmm. knew that I was here and I was mm-hmm. like okay cool you know you're here cool but now I feel like it has expanded from Jesse people who follow me mm-hmm. to new followers so now I'm at the gas station and People why not as what you know, no, you ah, know, in the Jamaican accent. Yeah, so yeah. you know that that I felt really happy about that because yeah. this trip was a self funded trip. Yeah. And um just just it being um getting that recognition for mm-hmm. an investment that, mm-hmm. that I would have made mm-hmm. is something I'm really, really Because I'm assuming about. you're here or you well you came here for a carnival. Well, it happened to clash. It happened oh, to clash oh. in the same time with Carnival. Mm-hmm. But I, 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 I just came. I just pick random places. Mm-hmm. That's another topic too. I just see like random places across the world to go. So I try not to. I say I have money. <laughs> 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 well, what I would do? Wow. What I would do typically because I'm most popular in Trinidad. Yeah. I would go home, get a bunch of different deals. <laughs> and use that money to travel. Makes that man, sense. Till I go broke, yeah. I go back home and do it again. <laughs> I must have the country of Barbados. <laughs> the whole country. The whole country is right? <laughs> wow. And I mean, it's nice too because, and I think that's one of the ways you broaden it. And I guess mm-hmm. your ultimate goal, you can correct me if I'm wrong, is to. You see, mention it too. It's to be a Caribbean ambassador. Yes, exactly so that. You yeah. don't mind going 
um because he's not just a caribbean like where else i see that he went to atlanta georgia so which yeah. other so, states or countries that's miami we've yeah. been to over over 30 places across the world you know um, wow. i mean miami los angeles las vegas i mean um Dubai, wow. the old Caribbean, London. Mm. You're going back to London after yeah, this trip. Yeah, you have trip. a UK tour coming up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the UK tour is, well, tomorrow. We start tomorrow. Wow. We uh-huh. leave from Jamaica and go and go to London. Mm-hmm. Then we're going to touch Paris. My and um, <laughs> Everywhere in, in, in Europe. We're just going to like drive about all over the place and go to the friend So when you say tour, is, um, is it going to ask the question or is it yes, something? Yes, yes, oh, yes. Wow. So, so every time I go on, I would produce a number of episodes mm-hmm. in each different location that I that I go to. Mm-hmm. Oh, nice. Yeah. So, so now you're, you're planning to be a menace in Europe now. Uh, basically. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that the people that are saying, oh, some people are saying, oh, go on, left the country because I make look too stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, I never encountered that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, which... which yeah, I think we're in Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. You for our partner show with a god No, it. you know, it's not <laughs> brain freeze. It's not brain freeze. I'm trying to find the most right PC word. way to oh. ask this question. Mm-hmm. That's a question. And it is. Ask the way. <laughs> Which group group of people? Mm-hmm. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 know, I, I know, know, and I know, I know, I know, that, I know that, yeah. And I, <laughs> we're getting crazy answers. Funny yeah, answers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're, 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 which nationality, which ethnicity, aloof people. Yeah, like in your yeah. experience. <laughs> My girl, uh, yeah. Aloof, I say aloof. Yeah. I mean, it, in terms of somebody, somebody most profound answers that, that we've gotten. <laughs> answers <laughs> profound. <laughs> Put it nicely. Yeah. yeah. It would definitely be. Between Dominica mm. and Jamaica. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. I would be offended if we weren't mentioned. <laughs> I, w- I would be offended. And honestly, I wasn't even thinking that because I know you got over and I- America is have yeah. a bunch of people. So I just want to know, like, are white people more receptive of, like, having a, um, answering the question? And no, you they, know. Yeah. I think that um, it, it's just very dependent on the day and the, the mm. people who are out there, etc. Because we've done videos that have gotten 10 times the amount of views and 10 times the amount of reception that we got for a video in Jamaica. Mm. Like I would highlight a, um, a, a specific interview where I asked a person in Las Vegas, a guy, what is 50% of 14? And that interview had 1.3 million views oh, in, in, in where he went on. The wait, 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 15, 15, 50% of 14. Oh, okay, okay. Mm-hmm. It's seven. Uh, yeah, I but, it but yeah, I am telling him it's seven and he had an explanation as to why it's not seven. Yeah. Yeah, and I know like extremely viral, etc. So I would say that, you know, it's not necessarily the place all the time, yeah. but it's just dependent on the character and the, uh, the, the amount and so. the, yeah. the wealth and knowledge that, 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 they, that they have. Because are some days a bus? Are some days it's yeah. like you go, you've, been, you've been on the road for like, what, four, eight, 12 hours mm-hmm. and it's like, mm, not nah, getting Yeah, enough. and that's the part of the job that, you know, that people don't see. It, mm. it, it, could, be, it could be difficult sometimes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We go out, you know, especially when producing so many viral videos, you, I mean, you're sort of always looking for that high. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Looking for that next viral video, that mm-hmm. next moment. And you know, there, there are a lot of difficulties that we encounter sometimes we go out and certain areas, like we went to um, a specific area in downtown Kingston. It was like by a market area. Mm-hmm. And people just were not receptive at all. Like, mm-hmm. that's why people don't want to answer questions. Nobody really had no time for me. Fuck yeah. you, I'm trying to sell food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like a carnation, that's all like carnation. Yeah. 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 But then in another area, you know, it's, it's receptive. Then yeah. on one day, that's a lot to do sometimes with energy. Sometimes you go out there with a positive energy mm-hmm. and it happens to get real good responses. Yeah. Sometimes you go out there, you probably was rushing to go before yeah. or you forget something. And just because of you having that energy, mm-hmm. you, you happen to no not get any type of Is that energy dependent thing? Where you Job. I, I, I agree. One more actually. Did Boko Pan Candy on the road? I that didn't even day? know that she was, you know, a, figure. a, a popular you figure. Did not yeah. know. <laughs> no. Oh, you knew. Oh, you, who told you after? The comments when oh. because mm. I saw people in the comments consistently saying, "Wow, Candy, wow." So yes. then I realized yes. that okay, this is something. And then I search up and I realized. She's in a my Facebook brain, weather. yeah. <laughs> in my brain, I thought that the person who he was rolling with, I figured like he probably had like um, yeah, and say yo, like isn't that guy, not, and then, yeah, like, like yo, a candy, a yeah, 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 yeah. 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 We don't even have tour guides. We just like yeah, we yeah. just go to random places and. But you have Jamaican friends though. No, no. that's the thing about it. Just me and my girl was rolling downtown Kingston. That's how it's always been. It might be on camera. 
You're a real soldier. She never prep. No, <laughs> me just want people for good, see. Man, yeah, yeah. Me want people for <laughs> see. Because me yeah. watch one video and miss, and miss the guy say, yo, you look good here, baby. So me say, oh, wait. Yeah. I want gr- him girlfriend of the video. Yeah, yeah, I like, he's yeah. is, is a, is a girl a video? I'm I like, a, yeah, 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 why? I'm girlfriend. <laughs> why? You, see, I know, say, you see why she's a good scoper. <laughs> but, yeah. but no, the fact is like the two of us, she a video. I'm yeah. like, where's security like no nah, that's me i'm a girl apart <laughs> we came from such a such a long way to even even get here because mm. usually like no i would i would travel with a with a camera person with mm. a cameraman and she would be here yeah. just with me my, as my fiance you know just rolling with me mm-hmm. and i would have a cameraman but on this trip i just decided to cut costs because we go to europe and it was expensive yeah i say hey, babe i don't know how to use a camera <laughs> yeah you better but, learn <laughs> but to take it a step back before her i would travel the world alone really? wow yeah to do I, I, um, I mean a lot of people don't know mm-hmm. but i would go to places alone like i've been to london alone the, the first time i came to jamaica i was alone I just literally got to the New York. I've I've been there alone. So I, you just set up your tripod with the No, so what I would do the power of social media. I would make a story. Like the first time I came to Jamaica, this is my first time in Jamaica. I came in from the airport from New York and I just came. I I didn't know anything about about Jamaica. I booked a random Airbnb. I think that was in New Kingston. I believe that was the way where I booked the Airbnb. I came in and I would deal with each different struggle. As it came. So when mm-hmm. I came, the first struggle was like, how do you get to Airbnb? That was the first <laughs> yeah. the first thing. I was like, okay, well, I got to rent a car. Mm-hmm. So I went to the airport. I went around, find out the cheapest rental, mm-hmm. rent a vehicle, got the vehicle, jump in the vehicle. All right, no Wi-Fi. How the hell are you going to get about Jamaica? Mm-hmm. So I just drove. That was I, our dilemma in Trinidad. <laughs> yeah. That was our dilemma in <laughs> Trinidad. <laughs> and in Trinidad. Yeah. So I just drove mm-hmm. and I say, well, I didn't think that Dongtong was a, a bad place. It's only after when I when I went to Dongtong and I met friends after. I say, hey, yeah, I went Dongtong. They was like, boy, you went Dong there or whatever. But that's <laughs> why yourself. That's why I never had a fear of Dongtong. Because yeah. I went there for the first time and it was amazing. I parked up by Circle K. I went in there and had a hot dog. Yeah. I bought a slushy and I just sat there. I went by Flo and wait till That's Flo. That's on like Parade. So you go by Parade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very close yeah. to a square. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And, William's grandpa. And then I went to Flo. I had to wait till it opened to buy a plan. Because the check-in by the place was 3 p.m. So I just went by Flo and I went down to sleep. Connected to the Wi-Fi, reached to the place. Mm. So all right, I reached to the place now. <laughs> I made a story and I said, yo, what going to Jamaica? Your boy in Jamaica, the whole team. Time is just me. The whole team. Yeah, the whole, the whole team. team. Yeah. We touched on my head. You fucking <laughs> <laughs> and I would wait for people to reach out because now I have plenty of followers. Yeah. So somebody would reach out and I would like try to scope the best looking person who I think would won't rob me and w- would be able won't to help me. Rob me. Yeah. <laughs> you know, looking like and a good list. looking like a good character. And you know, people would reach out, I would teach them how to use the camera. Mm-hmm. And we would go out, I'd pick them up and we'd go out on the street and record what, you know. And that's how I've managed to build a lot of friendships around yeah. the world through meeting random people who would help me. What's so like you that? have to have like immense trust and like a yeah. really good sense of judging character. Yeah, mm-hmm. because yeah. I mean, usually it would be fans. It would be fans of the show. Okay, Yo, yeah. dog, I love the show, where you're gonna be, etc. And then I'd respond to them and say, Okay, thanks for being a big fan, but here now, I hear alone. Mm. Forget what you see on social media, but I hear alone. <laughs> yeah. Would you be willing to assist me in recording? You know, sometimes some people busy with work, etc. But I would always find out one person who would be willing to help. Mm-hmm. And you know, through that, I've managed to build friendships and where people yeah. would people would help me until I was able to now afford to say, well, okay, I could carry a cameraman, mm-hmm. or I could carry my girl you know, with me, mm-hmm. etc. Mm-hmm. But still, it's like you're you're it's literally by yourself, almost gro- 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 gorilla. Like, yeah. but mm-hmm. like, why, why, how you not have that fear of the unknown? Cause you're in a foreign unknown yeah. place. You're like, right. how you not have no fear of like, let me, so, who's yeah. coming? I have to who hold can the I camera trust? close. I think <laughs> I always loved the fear of unknown. Like the fear of the unknown. So it's like up to today, I'm always chasing the next, like I'm going to Europe in these countries that don't even speak English. And it's like a challenge for me. Like, how am I going to do it? So, you know, it's always that. Your blood pressure is like 120 <laughs> over 80, isn't it? I'm and so with the, jealous. <laughs> with, the people, with the people on the streets, etc. Like, I just always, I mean, it could be naive, naive of me to think, but it, it, it has worked. I just always think like, 
people like me. Like yeah. anywhere I go, like I've been to Dubai and people are just always so amazed, you know, by my energy. And so it's like, mm. I always let that be my guide. Yeah. And I kind of saw that spiritual way. Yeah. So I'd go out on the streets and it's like, I never um afraid to show my personality or to interact and say, what go on, you're good. And even if like somebody is angry, I'd be like, oh gosh, pass a smile on the face now, you're moving so. <laughs> and it's like the way, you know, mm-hmm. the way I might touch them or hit them with like a little tap or something like that, like they like, they like that, you know. Yeah. Hey, you drop something, you drop your smile, you know. People <laughs> like those kind of corny lines. That's <laughs> true. I, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, know for I feel like, like yeah. you're a people person. Do you want to be a politician? Like, is there any hope of you being like... <laughs> this is very random. Like, uh... No, because the way he loves <laughs> yeah, such a nice yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> people people personality. I mean, where, you, you never know. know. You don't mind people. <laughs> you never know I mean, what may happen in the future, but I would say mm-hmm. that um, is is definitely not in my immediate plans mm-hmm. at the moment. <laughs> but um, but we were just talking about that coming up in the car. I said, babe, what me and politicians is do is like the same thing, you know, you're trying to keep yourself mm-hmm. a specific way, mm-hmm. trying to, you know, say certain things, not a song, mm-hmm. a specific kind of way, etc. So mm-hmm. you never know. You never know. Okay. As you just never mentioned, know. babe, I have to tell you some Marie how you bring her real. Yeah. You know, make sure for work for the money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, you know in a situation like a Kimmy. You yeah, know? yeah, 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 yeah. I rate work that. For it. Work for your money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come, come learn of all this camera. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I like that. You want to like travel? That. Yeah, yeah. Come, <laughs> come, come, oh, work. come put in the work. You better work, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> 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 ja, ja, really it's fine. Work Wait, is fun. Can yeah. I ask though, so like, how do you, was it? Were you guys together when you started, or is after you started? You guys after I started, mm-hmm. we met. We met through, so. through the through the quarantine, mm-hmm. uh, through the COVID. 19. Oh, it's, it's like fresh name, like yeah, like two, two years, mm-hmm. two two years going on three. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, but it's like fiance. So yeah, is was it because I know she the, was the one. Oh, no, it wasn't because of the quarantine. Instant no. connection. Oh, wait, are you guys officially engaged? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Man, I've been a call our fiance. <laughs> you know, some people say wife and them, them the don't come along marriage. Yeah. So I don't That's know. what we do in Jamaica. Yeah. I think I was so I was so occupied before COVID, just traveling and doing so much. You know, I got a little time to just not have to do all of mm. that. And I'm a child and I was like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Could I get for zero? Yeah, let me, mm, yeah. Let me so, lock that in and put that in the back pocket and uh, move forward with the goals. No, you, you like can't it. swing by that. So I really want to know, like, take us to your love story. So you say it's quarantine, she, so. Do you think, yeah, do you think, do I don't like that comment. Oh, Javi make it sound, so like what? No, fast, fast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> fight, fight. <laughs> <laughs> So them of beef. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. Oh God, like, oh God. No, I just wanted to Yeah, sure, that. sure. Yeah. You know, so we met at a, at a gathering of uh, friends. Okay. And, you know, Charlotte, Charlotte was there. And when I was leaving, she was making a TikTok with another friend. I was like, hey, I want to be in the TikTok. And, you know, we made it Just TikTok. like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just she like knew who you were, though? Yes. Yes, okay. yes, yes. So I said, hey, I want to be in the TikTok. And you know, I find she was real nice, you know? Yeah. And there was cooking. Oh, and be, yeah. There was cooking and they made it guana because we eat guana in Trinidad. Wow. I don't know if you all ever eat iguana. But no, no, no. no. Igua- no. They, have a special, <laughs> they have a special name for it? Iguana. Yes. <laughs> iguana. <laughs> Curry iguana, yeah. Okay. So, so, you know, she actually made it because she could cook. She could real cook. Mm-hmm. And I got her number after and, I, and my starting line was, thanks for the iguana. Yeah. Mm. I don't know, from there we just started to talk. I realized we had a... <laughs> A similar personality. <laughs> so Daniel, no, real, real goofy. So Daniel, hold on. Huh? Yeah, tell me. So I never say, yo, you want to see my ego? <laughs> I should have said that. <laughs> that would be the perfect life. I never said that. That would be the perfect life. Sh- I made Charlotte for what <laughs> now. <laughs> it was right there. 45 minutes. Yeah. Daniel, and I knew right she would turn it on. I knew it she was like right there. <laughs> Daniel is that was gross. Now I have, a, I have a go on for you to see. <laughs> then my line would be careful because I'll cook it, you know. Ooh, I don't know what I'm going to You don't know what I'm going to say. Ew. Ew. But I eat it, me a cookie. Just make sure you season it. Ew. <laughs> I don't want to be a part of this conversation. Yeah. How did we get here? Yeah. I already took us here. I already took us here. Daniel, I was just trying to find your love story. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I touched you like the yeah. Like yeah. one. We started to talk and, and you know, um, I realized we had a real similar personality, real goofy behind the scenes. Mm-hmm. We get along well, we mesh well. 
And you know, it, it just happens so naturally. Mm. And and through that things just things just progress. Yeah, because of the things. quarantine. I think that and I, most things that have fell apart because of the quarantine are well, yes. went really fast because of the quarantine. Yes, yeah. and then quarantine was over and I was traveling. And then that part of the strain on the relationship because I traveling and you home and things. And even just say, babe, yeah, well, forget our work and everything. It's just You just come and be with me all the time. I watch you by my side. <laughs> and, you know, we just started to, to travel together and try to make it make sense, you know. Whatever, instead of me having to hire someone to do something specific, she would, she would, she would fill in. He's like, bam, bam, bam. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, we started to, we started to travel together. So, mm-hmm. you know, it's, it's fun, you know, so, you know, because before mm-hmm. I'd be going to places alone, I'm lonely. I mean, as much yeah. as mm-hmm. a popular, I don't really have anybody to really roll mm-hmm. with. Mm-hmm. And I wouldn't consider myself a big, big party guy mm-hmm. going to all these parties, etc. So that just works well. And, you know, we just... Navigate the world together now. Shelly, so oh, you take that leap nice. of faith and left your job. Seriously? Yeah, it was scary. Actually, I started like, you know, like, did my job and all, like, what I'm doing. Yeah. I was even thinking, was this before you were in the end or after? I was like, message me, break up. Like, that's <laughs> 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 a woman's brain. Yeah. That's, that's, that's how we think. That's how I'm like, oh, you take the leap of faith. Like, <laughs> Mm. I trust that mm. people, you know, if you say, like, babe, I will handle it, or whatever. Yeah. Like, mm. I, I was sure that he would look out for me. Yeah. Regardless, and then I was just like, mm. you know, just take the leap of faith. Like, I don't want to put heavy vibes on it before it even starts. Mm-hmm. So, like, even thinking, like, next thing you know, would cause her, but, like, I just playing that negative vibe. Yes. Mm-hmm. So, you guys like, are so positive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Off to me. And then she started to do social media, too, yeah. so that, you know, she got all the deals and things as well okay. on, oh, nice. on, on, on yeah. her end. So that, that, that yeah, worked out. Yeah, yeah. Makes, makes oh, so you're also team. like an influencer in Trinidad too? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. We're, we're in Trinidad recently and we're trying to find, well, because we do mostly interviews and your thing is yeah. more skit and asking questions. And we're trying to find like what is our equivalent of in Trinidad, yeah. Like, can you tell us like this? Oh, oh like a podcast, yeah, kind, of, right. kind of way. I think the closest thing in Trinidad right now is a um, a recent station that launched. Really forgot the name of the station, but it's run by Chromatics. You know, I don't know if you know Chromatics or a, chrom- or Chromatic here. No, 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 oh. no, no. In Trinidad, there's a, a kind of rapper slash soca artist, Chromatics. Oh, mm-hmm. He has a station with various different podcasts under that. That roof, but oh. I, uh, nothing as popular as the fix. Mm. It's nothing like the fix. No, well, we're not. Yeah. Don't say popular. We just <laughs> want to know the equipment. <laughs> <laughs> but I read the fix. Yeah, that is, that is from his point of view. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I'm just saying. So I mean, you're, you're in Trinidad. You say you get the D's and then you come back. Like, so mm-hmm. can you give us an idea of the popularity of what you know in Trinidad? Like, if you go in Trinidad, can you? Everybody would know. Yes, mm. every every <laughs> I don't want to say everybody in Trinidad, yeah. but you know, most of Trinidad and Tobago is, is familiar familiar mm-hmm. with me. So I get a lot of mm-hmm. a lot of love and blies there as well from mm-hmm. police when I <laughs> when I make illegal drives. This is key. <laughs> yeah. This is key. Getting blies from police is yeah. key. Yeah, yeah. yeah I that love, don't happen here in Jamaica. I love that. Shout no out to my the police friend them. <laughs> and I was telling Charlotte that, that might soon start to happen in Jamaica. As well. so, <laughs> officer, we are bring there. Sure. And it just, it just, you know, <laughs> but but and yeah, you yeah. never know. Now you no, know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh so I mean, it's like a double-edged sword mm. because yeah. of the fact that you know people love me, but at the same time, trying to do the show is a bit more difficult now in Trinidad. Yeah, like oh, mm. oh. yeah. I mean, because of the fact that now people are so self-conscious, they don't yes. want to see yeah. anything yeah. Yeah. to embarrass no. themselves, yes. etc. So you know, it's it's a bit more difficult, which um. Which kind of just makes me always want to just travel and go to different uh, places. So uh, Jamaica is such prime ground. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> yes. I mean, like even places like Maypen, I don't think that we see much box pop there all that much. True. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So the fact that you went there and that's where you get the, the body clip from. Yeah. Like, <laughs> no, but it, 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 it was real nice. Like <laughs> I think you need to put context. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> say that body clip. Uh, like, yeah, but it was there like was there. Oh. Uh, <laughs> 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 made me think that I could I could live in Jamaica. I, really? Yeah. 
it was so warm and and you know wow. nice and that's why i tell people when you travel the places you really had to get out there and experience it for yourself yeah like, no true like yeah, we yeah, are yeah. nice though like there's something yeah. about us like yeah there are a few bad actors but, but the there's a like, i find that so nice Trinidad, the humility Trinidad, Trinidad, of the people Trinidadians are nicer I don't know if it's not just traveling to a different place and experience. I think, I think so. That's All it. Chas. I think so. <laughs> yeah. Because, because we were discussing it with Kes, like, said, we, KFC, which, like, or we said, we, the customer service is bad. Yeah. But we love it. But they must say, why in Trinidad? Yeah, bad but, customer. <laughs> like, huh? Nah, like, you guys were nice. customer service nice. exceptional. <laughs> come here. Come Really? Comparison here, but but what I was nah, gonna say, you not go to the right place. What, <laughs> <laughs> what I was gonna say is just I'm so amazed that how like just the humility of the people. I feel mm. like we as Trinidadians, it's not that we're not humble, but it's like it's like people always have this kind of like high and mighty tendency mm. in Trinidad. I didn't feel that in Jamaica at all. Mm. Everybody was just so willing. You know, mm-hmm. even, you know, nobody like watching you, you know, because you might probably be wearing a, a whiter jersey than them or, you know, a nicer pants or a nicer shoe. Yeah. It didn't feel like, you know, they were looking at me as if I was any different to them. Everybody just just uh, treated me with such love, respect. I didn't know, <laughs> and this is not to bash Trinidad, mm-hmm. because we love it there. I just the food. You know? <laughs> <laughs> they, they know, they know, yeah, by now. Right. <laughs> like, I, I kind of experienced that in a barber shop where we go. Like a, oh. a group of Indians just walking and was there, look fun, but weird. Me and yeah. Jervis and, and Johnny Bravo did that and was like, send my steer power with him. Yeah. Awkward. It was very awkward. Not never said, what? what? Yeah. Like, yeah, like with the arm was, it, is it me? The <laughs> kinda, type of vibes. Kinda, like, yeah. Kinda is it me? So is that, is that, is that for you? Like if you, like if you go in places probably where people think that you don't belong, is that that No, thing? it's not necessarily like you don't belong. Eh? Here's what it is. Eh? It's like, I know you, I know who you are, but I'm not going to acknowledge you too much. Yeah. So I'm going to give you the side eye, I'm going to watch you, I'm going to... Mm. But unless you don't talk to me, like, I, I may love your show, brother, but I'm not going to come and say, oh my God, I love your show. I'll just watch it from the side and kind of give I kinda, mean, you kind of have that out there to a, yeah. to a degree yeah. Yeah. where people know yeah, you. We're not frying for, for celebrities. Jamaica yeah. say, yeah. you know yeah. more than me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You know more than me. But I think the difference is, which is what I think is correct, like, you know more than me, but Hey, brother. Right. Yes, yeah, and that's yeah, what yeah, I feel in, yeah. feel in Jamaica. So you, you know, know more I mean? than me. Me hype too, so come. Yeah, yeah. ask me the question. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. yes. I'm, I'm thinking maybe that was the vibe with Candy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like, yeah, camera, yeah, I'm ready. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's big boop, big boop. <laughs> No, 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 Danny. You know that are, that that's not actual Jamaican song. Right? I well, I realize. I realize. Uh, much. I realize. Yeah. <laughs> what you were saying? Nah, Points nah, nah, of clarification. Yeah, no, but you defined it so well. That's I was, what I was I'm caught. saying. It makes I believe her. Perfect, perfect no, sense. She need to convince me. Just we need to use yeah. them from the yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, but yeah. then I sound like maybe in her community. Yeah. Uh, whoop, yeah. Whoop, ba- beep, beep. Beep. Now, when she explained it, it made perfect sense. Yeah. Okay. Absolute yeah. sense. sense. You know, that's the beauty of literature China. It's not, yeah, you're right. You say the same thing, but it's how you it's interpret it. Yeah, right. Yeah. And you gotta mm-hmm. explain it properly. And can it get A? <laughs> a for that shit. I believed her. <laughs> I believed her. Yeah. So. Best of the best. The crumb de la crumb. Compared to you, everyone is a mess. Let it run, it's stuck in my head. Need you in my bed. Mm-hmm. Compared to you, everyone give me stress. Don't you know if you get a life matter? Yeah, I make another dream. We live in a darkness. We're not afraid. Cause people are real, them artists. Regardless, we know stress. Them road, them moment here could never fall, we never break, I never slice. Me take a cake, a friend's all out, me make it skate, hey, man, I shoot like rocket, rocket, hey, man, I shoot like, hey, man, I shoot like rocket, rocket, hey, man, I shoot like.